If you're working on creating X and T pipe joints using subdivisional surfaces, um, one thing that you'll want to make sure is that you end up with, right now, we're in polygonal mode, and uh, we want to make sure that we have this kind of tightness in the corners, but when we hit tab, of course, uh, it's smoothing that out. So we're going to want to tighten that up, and there's a bunch of different ways of going about doing it. Uh, I'd like to show you uh, an option. Uh, that, that works for me. So I'm going to copy and paste this into layer two. Okay, let's move into the top layer. And I'm going to grab this uh, top chunk right here, right at the, the V shape, hit E, and I'm going to move up. I'm going to grab this top shape, hit E, and I'm going to move down, and I'm going to try and get it roughly the same distance there. And I'm going to grab this geometry and hit E, and come over, trying to keep roughly the same distance. Grab this, hit E, and move over roughly the same distance. And now, when we take a look, and we go to tab, we'll see that we've got, um, you know, we don't have the sharp edge, we've got the nice, clean uh, borders there. And uh, if we go into texture wire, we can see uh, that we've got um, a nice, clean uh, connection here. If we go to W for statistics, we can see that um, we're still all quads, which is uh, the way I like to work with subdivisional surfaces. Now, what if you wanted to create a T joint? Well, one way you could do it, if you've already uh, gotten to this stage, you could copy and paste to a new layer. Okay, and I'm just going to come over here and select this um, piece over here and delete it. Grab these points. V for set value, down the Z, uh, zero, okay. Hit M for merge, okay. And uh, if we hit tab, we'll see that we still have that issue. So we'll just select this area right here, hit E, move it out some, and now we've got a nice T joint um, that works with sub patches and is all quads, and there we go.